Hi kids, it's Reverend Kyle here with another Monday Kids Talk video. And I'm going to tell you a story that Jesus actually tells his friends. And to do that, I need a couple things. So I need a, a cup, a little brass cup here. And I have two identical little balls of yarn. Do you see that there? So we're going to use these things uh, to tell the story. So Jesus tells his friends a story about a man who has two children. And he goes to his first child and says, I want you to go work in my vineyard. And the child says, sure, dad, I will go work in your vineyard for you. But you know, even though the child said that they were going to go work in the vineyard, Guess what? They didn't go work in the vineyard. They didn't do what they said they were going to do. So the father goes to the second child and says, I want you to go work in my vineyard too. But you know what this child says? Absolutely not. I'm not going to go work in the vineyard at all. But then this child thought about it, and you know what? Actually went to go work in the vineyard. And so Jesus asked his, his, uh, his friends, who did what the father wanted? The child who said they were going to do it, but didn't? Or the child who actually did what the father asked? And of course, the answer is pretty clear that it was the child who actually did go work in the vineyard who did what the father asked. You know, when we do our Bible lessons in Sunday school, or when maybe we're reading our kid's Bible at home, we're going to hear a lot of things that God asks, asks of us. Um, God asks us to be nice and helpful to people, like the Good Samaritan. Jesus tells another story about that. Um, God asks us to forgive people. God asks us to love our moms and dads and to love everybody and, and to forgive and to be helpful and to tell the truth. And God asks us a whole bunch of stuff. And when we come across something that God asks us, like telling the truth or like forgiving, it's not enough just to say, yes, we're going to do it, but then not actually do it. No, we actually need to do what God asks of us. Because the reason God asks us to do all of these things, like telling the truth or being helpful to people or, or loving and forgiving, is because it's like the best way to live. And we get to know that we are living in the way that God wants us to live. So think about that. Next time you're doing a Bible reading or a Bible lesson and you come across something that God asks, Try to think about how you can do what God asks you to do. I miss you all in the church. I look forward to the time that we get to see you here in church again. Keep coloring those pictures that I send, and I look forward to seeing you in church. God bless you. Bye-bye.